Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to show you how to add these anamorphic style black bars to give a cinematic look to any video that you have directly in PowerPoint. So let's get started. So we'll just jump straight into the editor here. We'll create a new slide. We'll right click on the background and choose blank. Now I'm ready to add some video. I'll go to insert on the ribbon, choose video from the media section and then choose this device. So here's my video. I'm just going to scale it up to full screen by holding the corner and it will snap when it gets there. I'm now going to go to the animation section and make sure that it starts with previous. So as soon as the slide comes up, the video plays. Great, now for the black bars. So we'll click on rectangle and we'll click anywhere on the slide. Now we'll go to shape fill and choose black and shape outline and choose no outline. I'm going to snap this to the corner. Then I'm going to click on the right handle and drag it across. There's our top bar. Now I'm going to press Control D, which will duplicate and make a second bar and I'll drag this to the bottom. So we'll quickly press F5 to play now. That's looking perfect. So the one thing that I think is a nice thing to do, just as I did in the introduction that I showed you, is to add an animation where these fade in and slide in over time. So to do that, we'll need to go to Add Animation and choose a Motion Path. The first thing we'll need to do here is change it from down to up and then reverse the direction, which we can click on Options to do again. Reverse Path Direction. We'll also apply the same animation to the bottom one, just in a different direction. So go to Add Animation, Motion Path, and then reverse the path direction. So there's two things that we need to change there. Firstly, we need to go to the animation pane and make sure that both of these happen with the previous thing. That means that as soon as I press F5, they will both slide in. The other thing we can change is if we double click and drag this smooth end all the way to the maximum time, that will have a smooth finish to the animation and give you a nice look as it comes in. We'll also do that to the bottom rectangle. And now we'll press F5. There, that looks great. And just to show you how we went to a different section of the video, to do that, I would normally simply duplicate this slide with Control D take off the animation because on this slide we wouldn't need it because this is the second part of the video. Press delete to get rid of that video. Insert another video clip which is going to be this one. Snap it into the top left corner. Drag it down. Right click, center back and there we go. Finally on the first clip I will just make sure that I've trimmed the video to finish where I want it to. So if I go to playback in the tab, once I've clicked on video, you'll see there's an option to trim video. It's quite a long clip, so I could just drag it in and say, I want the first four seconds and press OK. Then finally, I go to transitions and make sure that the slide will advance. So effectively, that's actually saying the slide will advance no seconds after the trimmed video is finished, which is about four seconds. So we'll press F5 to play. The bars come in. And then after four seconds, it goes to the next clip. And the only thing we need to do on this clip is to click on it, go to animations, animation pane, and make sure that the playback happens with previous. So now, everything will work as we expect. Just go to the first slide, press F5, the black bars come in, and after four seconds, it cuts to the next clip. There you go. 
a great way to add an anamorphic and cinematic style to your clips.